Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Crafticality and today I wanted to show you my new journal that I just finished up. I did show a tutorial on how to do this this past Saturday so if you would like to watch that you can and I will put the link for it down below. But it is a journal made from a Candyland board game. This isn't a vintage board game. It's like from 2014, but it was given to me and it was falling apart. So I had no problems with using it to, you know, repurposing it, re making it much nicer. It was actually, they had it taped together. A lot of the cards were folded, didn't have all the pieces. One of the I used one of the plain pieces here and made a charm, but the the red one had some chew marks. <laughs> so it was a well-loved game and I it I think it turned out super cute. So I put some fabric over the edges here where it's part of the spine, I guess you would say. And then I had this vintage candy cane it's just like a binding that the kind that's like folded in fourths I guess so I put that as the detail on the cover I added a couple of the playing cards here and then some stickers that I had uh, given to me uh, from my friend Tara I tied some ribbons and things here and we'll go ahead and open it up. I made a pocket. This is from the box from the board game. I cut it up. Tara gave me some Candyland stickers and this one piece of scrapbook paper that's Candyland. So I use that on the first page. Here are some vintage Mrs. Grossman stickers that I had from when I first started scrapbooking. So. I found some of those and then I altered an old vintage bingo card there, added some fun trim on the side. This is a vintage Hersey Kisses postcard. I found this at my in my mom's stuff. Here is some kids worksheet paper or writing paper, some fun things there another sticker that was given to me. Here's a little bag. I had this die cut in my stash. It's just an ice cream cone and I put it together. I also had these little things that they're for scrapbooking and I had several that had different candies on them so put that in there. Flash card. This is a cookbook page on how to make candy. Here's another page with the belly band. This is an old page and <laughs> it is from, and it's actually my from my sister's stuff, I think when she was in junior high, but it's from one of her classes. And I, it th I think it was just home, home economics and so they were learning how to make lollipops that day and here's the back here but I thought that was fun so I added that in there here's another little belly band I made with some paper and stickers popcorn bag has an altar tag with a couple of the playing cards I made a little tuck spot with the playing cards with some of that trim and a sticker. I On this page I made a belly band with the playing cards and I put in a vintage fudge recipe from a, it's just one of those recipes that you find in magazines. Here's another little tuck spot with a sticker. This is a music sheet. And it's the song Ice Cream, You Scream, We All Scream for Ice Cream. I thought that went well with this book. Added some rainbow trim there. 
This is just an altered paper clip with, it says hugs and kisses. And on this side, I have a vintage Hershey's hugs playing card and then more little stickers. I just left them on the backing with the jelly beans. And then here's a pocket. I stuck a couple things in there. This is a CD case and score sheet, vintage score sheet. On this side, this is another piece of the board game box. And I just stuck a couple vintage items there. Here is another music sheet, little sack of sugar. Add a, made a ruffle with the rainbow ribbon. Here is a worksheet page. I just thought the colors went really well with it. On these two, on there's two of these pages, and the pages are very delicate, so I added some hole reinforcers there. There's just a envelope. I made a little pocket down here of tickets, and then this you can add whatever in there. Another belly band with some playing cards. This is a music workbook. I did just a little embellishment thing here with the doily. Here's another cookbook page from a kid's cookbook and it's on how to make peanut butter cookies, I believe. And another one on that side. Here is a page with a double pockets and I'll, I'll need to stick some little tags in there. Another little tuck here with the playing cards. And this is just a little tag that I made. It kind of opens up here so you can put things, you can put something there and there. And then these are stickers, they're dimensional stickers that came with the other ones I saw that I showed you. And this is just a vintage memo paper. And then here's the last page, the back cover. And I just embellished it with some playing cards and these little stickers from the Candyland pack and this little embellished card here. And then the back is just the back of the, one, another piece of the board and then I added some trim there. So that is the Candyland book and this will be up in my Etsy shop. And I do have two more board pieces so I'm thinking about making another one of these but it won't be the one with the Candyland so I may have to, I think I might try and print out to have Candyland be on the front. We'll see. I'll just, it'll depend on if this ends up selling. So yeah, I think this was a lot of fun to make. It's super bright and colorful. It'll be fun to have, to put memories of your own child or maybe you have memories of Candyland as a child and you want to use that for, you know, to write down memories as a kid playing, you know, with your family and friends and things like that. So yeah. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Leave me a comment and subscribe and I'll see you again next time. This is Kim with Creative Practicality. Bye. God bless.